Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's been a long break on the channel here, I know. Um, looks like it's been over a month since the last video, I believe, is what I've seen there. Um, we've been out filming, riding every week. Um, just trying to get as much footage as we can before we are just snowed in. Because it's coming. Uh, it's September 15th now in Colorado, and there is already snow on many of the mountain peaks. Fresh snow. Not old snow, fresh snow. And it's all over the news. You guys can look it up no matter where you're at. You can see it now. Um, so anyhow, with winter coming, like I said, we've been out filming, trying to get some footage together so we still have something to post here in the future. Uh, this particular video is actually filmed in April of this year, of 2023. And uh, I never really got around to editing it because I really wasn't sure what to do with it. Um, it was more of just a ride video out through some beautiful canyons and then we went to a car museum and uh, my plan was to go back to the museum and get a lot more information on Pacific cars to share with you guys well uh, news came to light to me here uh, about a week ago that they actually closed down this museum out of the blue took the car split the whole collection up and took them to auction they're gone they sold them so this footage is uh, the, is one of the last, I guess, of uh, the whole collection. Minus one car. There was already one car missing when we were there in April. And now we figured that it was probably getting ready to go to auction. And so this uh, car collection was uh, pretty amazing. And I really tried to send a lot of people out there to go see this museum. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of you did not. Y'all all had a lot of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> you missed out. Should have went. You were right there. Uh, and anyhow, um, a couple of the vehicles there were pretty standout. One in particular was a 1954 Oldsmobile F88 GM concept car. Now, this car sold in 2005 at the uh, Barrett Jackson auction, I believe it was, for $3.24 million. And uh, unfortunately, I was watching this auction when it went here in August, and that same car only brought 1.765 million. So uh, that's an amazing concept car from the 50s, and it was considered the centerpiece of this whole collection. So I'd imagine there's some upset people somewhere, <laughs> a little sick to their stomach. So anyhow, I hope you guys will uh, sit back and enjoy this scenic ride through the uh, canyons along Highway 141 and uh, going into Gateway. Uh, these canyons are pretty magnificent. They filmed uh, Thelma and Louise, if you could believe it, out there. That was the backdrop for that. And then uh, many other Western films, I would imagine, have been filmed out there. There's so it's still worth the ride out through 141 and through the canyons even though there's not a museum to go see anymore um, there's history around every turn so make sure you stop read those signs there's a lot of mining history um, especially one with the uh, hanging flume where they uh, took water and send it off to these gold mines that basically were a bust I mean they didn't really profit from them um, if you'd like to know a little bit more about that it's the hanging flume near Gateway Colorado um, or Yurvan, I believe how it's pronounced. Um, or you could go over to Ozark Backroads YouTube channel. He did a uh, ride out through that way and he talks about the hanging flume on his channel. And many other people have too, so I'm not going to do something on it. Anyhow, so uh, if you get the opportunity, be sure to take the drive through or the ride, depending on what you're on. Two or four wheels, doesn't matter. Just have fun, get out there, and enjoy it. Cheers. Enjoy the show.
All right, that's a wrap on that video, folks. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that car museum. It's a shame that it's gone. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that canyon. Get out there and see that whenever you can. It's truly worth it. Um, stick around. Subscribe if you haven't. We've got uh, more videos coming up. Uh, we did Cinnamon Pass. We've done Engineer Pass and Soldier Summit and uh, a couple of other places that you'll just have to stick around and watch. The Royal Enfield Himalayan is currently for sale. We have a new bike in between videos here where we switch over, or I switch over. The, uh, it's been replaced by KTM 690, which is an amazing bike. Cheers to that bike. Love it. Um, Sydney's back out on her Honda Trail. So all you Honda Trail fans out there, don't worry. It's not gone. It's just building up. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone. And uh, for everything outdoors, cheers.